Zone 5 was launched on September 14, 1968 at 9.42 p.m. UTC from Site 81 at Baikonur Cosmodrome. Launched on the Proton-K rocket with a Block D upper stage, it was a test of a vehicle that could potentially carry cosmonauts on a flyby of the moon. It was preceded by Zon 4, which had been a similar test that didn't entirely succeed, and Zon 1968A, which exploded 4 minutes and 30 seconds into launch. The launch escape system on Zon 1968A did work and pulled the spacecraft away from the rocket, but the Proton-K launcher had a fairly horrible record to this point. Two successes and four failures, not including explosions on the pad, and it was in no way ready to launch cosmonauts. For Zon 5, though, it succeeded. The 5.4-ton spacecraft, the Soyuz 7K-L1 in terms of type, completed orbit with its Block D stage and would also transfer to the moon with it. Zon 5 carried two tortoises, fruit fly eggs, and plants. And these were the first Earth creatures that would visit lunar space, the region where the moon's gravity is more dominant than Earth's gravity. The spacecraft was within 2,000 kilometers of the moon at its closest approach before it continued back to Earth on a free return trajectory. It used star trackers to orient itself, but one failed early and another failed on the way back. These failures caused problems for mission controllers, but didn't hinder a return. However, it did change the ultimate landing location for the pod, as did the failure of the guided re-entry system that allowed the spacecraft to use a lifting re-entry to limit G-forces on the occupants. Like Zon 4, Zon 5 entered on a high G-force ballistic re-entry that may or may not have been survivable by humans, but fortunately was no problem for the tortoises. It splashed down in the Indian Ocean off the east coast of Africa and was recovered by Soviet ships Borovichi and Vasily Golovin. The mission of Zon 5 had been announced to the world after it made its lunar transfer, so the American destroyer USS McMorris had been shadowing the retrieval effort, though it gave the final phase of it a wide berth. While in terms of public perception, the mission put pressure on the United States space program and NASA, which once again seemed behind the Soviets, NASA was not internally concerned about Zon 5. The agency had already decided that it would be necessary to turn Apollo 8 into a crewed lunar orbit mission to meet John F. Kennedy's goal of setting foot on the moon by the end of the decade. It might also have been due to CIA reports about the Soviet plans for a lunar flyby well ahead of this mission. Also, pending a successful result to Apollo 7, which would launch in a month to test the newly revamped Apollo Command Module, there wasn't sufficient need to launch another Saturn V on a test mission any less ambitious than one to the moon, in spite of the iffy result of Apollo 6. So NASA couldn't speed anything up much faster anyway. During the Zon 5 mission though, three cosmonauts, Valery Bukovsky, Vitaly Sevastyanov, and Pavel Popovich played a prank that gave American observers pause. To test Zon's communication equipment, they bounced a signal off of it, pretending to be on board and giving technical information from inside the spacecraft. The messages were, of course, intercepted by both the United States and the UK, but the confusion caused by the prankish test was cleared up before the spacecraft's return. While the tortoises survived the mission, they met with a harsh end. They were dissected a month after the mission. While the Soviet Union made it clear that this mission was the precursor to a crude flyby of the moon, the reliability of the Proton rocket and the spacecraft itself prevented that from actually happening. Zon 6, launched on November 10th, would largely be a repeat of Zon 5, but with additional scientific instruments. The launch was successful, but the spacecraft depressurized hours before re-entry, killing all the animals. A parachute failure also led the descent module to crash into the ground. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Zon 5.